times to Miss Mary Jane. <laughs> Now, 
that caravan, they could have just sold Joseph, any old person along the way, right? But God had another plan. He was sold to Potiphar. Now Potiphar was very powerful man. He was a captain in the British <coughs> army. And he had a beautiful <coughs> home. And he was rich. So, wait a minute. Joseph was in a pit. And now he's living in a beautiful home. That's a good thing, right? <coughs> right. But, there's trouble right around the corner. Potiphar's wife was looking at Joseph, and he, she saw that he was a very strong and handsome and wise man. So she wanted him to kiss her. But Joseph said, no, I can't kiss you. You were my master's wife. So he tried to stay away from her. But she was still scheming. And one day, when all the servants were at the market, she devised to capture him in her room and pursue that kiss again. And he ran out of the room. And she grabbed his coat and his cloak fell off. So she had his clothes, but he had nothing. He got away. He resisted <coughs> temptation, right? That's good. Wait a minute. That scheming woman, and we don't know what her name is, other than we just call her Potiphar's wife. That scheming woman, she is so mad. She has been rejected. And I don't know, sometimes women really get upset when they're rejected. But anyway, she decided she was going to make up a story. And she told her husband that Joseph had kissed her. Well, the master was really mad because this man, he had trusted with everything he owned. He had <coughs> furnished him with wonderful clothes and good food and everything. He had entrusted him completely. And then he goes and does something to his wife. Well, he was so mad that he had Joseph thrown in the prison. Oh, my. He went from that beautiful home to a prison, and that's bad, isn't it? But you know what? Joseph kept living as a good, God-fearing man, and he tried to do good at all times, and he tried not to fall into any temptation. And you know what? The Pharaoh, that's like the king of all Egypt, heard that he knew how to interpret dreams. And he had this particularly troubling dream, and he didn't understand it. So Joseph would call out of the deep, dark, nasty prison to the palace. That's a good thing, right? Well, he interpreted the dream, and he told the Pharaoh that he needed to start stockpiling food because there was going to be a famine. And the Pharaoh believed him and started doing it. You know what happened? There was a terrible famine in the land. And Joseph's brothers, remember the ones that threw him in the pit and sold him as a slave? They had come to Egypt to where Joseph was and begged for food. Think Joseph gave him the food? Yes, because he was a good man, wasn't he? And after a while, Joseph revealed himself to his brothers. And they were scared. You know why they were scared? Because they had done a very bad thing, right? And now, Joseph had power. He could do anything. But you know what? Joseph told him not to worry. In fact, it's right here in my Bible. He said, do not be afraid, 
For am I in the place of God? But as for you, you meant evil against me. But God meant it for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many good people. So that was a good thing, right? So there was evil done, but God was with Joseph all the way. And it turned out good. So we should always remember that. Let's pray. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for these precious children. And let, we ask you to bless them, bless their parents, that they may know love, love from everyone. And may they learn to love everyone, because that's what Jesus asked us to do, love one another. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.